Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you how powerful it is to protect your peace. As we go along our journey, we do pick up influences, habits, uh, souvenirs, as I call them, even people that can really impact the direction that we head in. And sometimes along the way, some of those people can be drawn to or even addicted to drama. If that's not a place that you dwell in comfortably and peacefully, remove yourself quickly. I say this because along my journey, I begin to realize the impact that it can have short term and long term. You see, there were some that I had to remove myself away from because all they knew was drama. I myself even lived in a place where all I knew and all I thought about was drama. And once I physically took myself out of that environment, I was then able to mentally take myself out of that environment. And change happened almost instantly. See, it's a powerful thing when you pick up on these portions or these pieces of awareness within self. Because just as you are awaken to the fact or awaken to certain ideas or beliefs within yourself, you can see how others are trapped in that way of thinking, in that way of being, in that way of uh, perceiving. And it's not a judgment. It was simply an understanding of how it was contributing to my journey. And the results weren't anything that I wished for. So when I could look back at certain people, even certain places, I could fully understand because I not only seen it from the inside, but I was also now able to see it from the outside. And you begin to see how some people wouldn't know what to do without the drama. To the extent that they will manufacture it. And I, I share this with you because it was important for me to not only understand that, but to also see how people operate in it. In many a times, people find some kind of power or a sense of authority when they place themselves in other people's drama or when they create their own. This sense of authority is hen. I perceive it as a false authority. But when you're in it, you see it as the ultimate authority. Because when you manufacture the drama, you have the power to narrate it and control it and influence others by getting to the drama first or telling the story of the drama first. The other aspect of it is uh, they can really get one caught up in this mode of being is placing yourself in the middle of other people's drama. See, for those who take that approach, then they have the, the false notion of power, the false notion of I'm doing better than you in this aspect of your life but I'm going to put myself in the middle of your drama so I can pull you out, so I can save you. Even speaking of it right now, is a, it's unsettling for me. Because it's not, it's not inherent power. It's not operating out of uh, love. It's perceived love, but it's not. It's all manufactured. 
is chaos. Some love chaos. That's okay. Do you live your life? Some like controlled chaos. I get it. And that, uh, that's a different beast in and of itself. Because in controlled chaos, there's a, there's an element of structure. There's an element of understanding. I get it. You must be able to see the chaos. You can prepare for it and know what purpose it serves. And if it doesn't serve a purpose, then you remove it. I get it. But as we maneuver along our journeys, we must realize that no matter what we do for ourselves, it doesn't mean somebody else will see the value in it for themselves. And that's okay. But you must maneuver accordingly. Don't put the blinders on. Don't act as if you can change what's outside of you because you cannot. You can only live through your perspective, live through your lens, express your truth. And in doing so, that not only requires adding new elements to self, but also removing. And those who find stimulation through manufacture chaos or through placing themselves in chaotic situations, in my opinion, those are the ones to stay away from. Now, this is not just about intimate relationships. This is about environments as well. This is about friendships as well. Sometimes it could even be strangers. Uh, there, there's a phrase I used to hear a lot growing up around my family. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing it now. I haven't heard it in such a long time. But they used to say, man, if it wasn't for bad news, I wouldn't have any, any news at all. And when you're a kid, it's like, oh, okay, that's an old person saying, yeah, it sounds cool. More small talk. But over time, I began to see how much truth was in that statement for the environment I was around. See, if you weren't degrading or talking about somebody in your immediate proximity, then you had a, a woe is me tale about somebody else. Or you had a, I had to dig them out of the muck and store from somebody else. But it was all this drama, issues, and chaos. And hey, I can get it. The world is filled with it. However, understanding how it does not serve you is powerful. Man, it's powerful. And there's no, there, there's no escaping the drama of others to a certain extent. No, we can only make our the conscious choices to place ourselves in peaceful environments. And if we're not able to get out of that environment, we must be able to find that peace in ourselves because everything on our journey comes back to ourselves. So trust in yourself. Give yourself grace. Remove as much judgment as you can from within. Don't beat yourself up. Even when you're dwelling and creating this inner world for yourself, don't get too caught up in judging others. No, observe it for what it is. Observe the traits. And it's not about being better than any place, anything, any person. It's about giving yourself that unconditional love. So even as you remove yourself from these uh, chaotic or dramatic situations, or people or environments you're not doing it from a place of hate you're doing it from a place of love you love yourself enough to remove your physical vessel away from that energy you love these people enough to remove yourself away from their states of drama and chaos because you understand that that's what they feed on 
And if you're providing love or the opposite of that drama or chaos, it will not be received with love. It will be an issue. So sometimes protecting your peace means removing yourself from places, people, things that do not honor peace. Something to think about. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.